Well, greetings to everyone. You join us here on a snowy evening ahead of the big match. And these weather conditions have, of course, been the major talking points, indeed the major concern in the hours leading up to kickoff here. You can understand why. There was a point during the course of the afternoon when we wondered whether the game might indeed have to be called off. But a lot of people have put in a lot of hard work. Indeed, members of the public have been enlisted to uh, come down and form some sort of an army against the elements. They've done really well against the odds. The pitch is clear and indeed the public areas have been passed fit and safe for purpose. This must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. And already we're underway here. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? A really good feat from him. Midway through the first half, and there's an impotence about this game that's causing... Up he gets! That's caused the worry or two. Good effort, very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work, though. Plays it out to the wing. Goes for the cross. Gets up to head it! He's delivered all right! The breakthrough strike! Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. And that's been won straight back. And that's clear cut, it's a free kick. He's had a look. Looking to... He's had a shot. He has done it. Hot knife through butter, they have done it again. Just so calm under pressure. Well, I think that defence there thought they were in good position and they had him where they wanted, yet somehow he's worked the scoring position when it didn't seem on. It's really crafty business, that. So that's two now without reply. Well, unsurprisingly, Peter, the opposition looked completely stunned. I'm not sure they can gather themselves. <laughs> the 
There is the half-time whistle. So first half thoughts? Well, they had their opponents reeling in that half, Peter, and the break may influence a change somehow, but don't hold me to it. It has been a remarkable contest, decorated by goals, and two between them at half-time. And we're underway again. It's a great gallop down the right-hand side. That is terrific skill. Played out to the right. There's the delivery. That's a case of crossing and hope, and unless they provide some more options, it'll be more missed than hit. So who's he picking out? Plays it back. He's had a shot! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Lovely control. He made it stick with an excellent touch. There is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Hoists it forward. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. And that's been levered clear. But the changes then in quick succession. Steered forward. Aimed in towards the centre. Too long, and over the line. There's going to be another change here. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honest shift. Leading by two and the finishing line in sight. Final five minutes. Puts in a cross. Cross deflected over the goal line for a corner. They've played it short. Has a hit! Surely that settles it. That is some volley. Great technique. I'll tell you, Peter, more went into that than you think. He had to anticipate the cross, get in the right position, and then time the volley. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Can't get the better of his opposite number. And that is that. A great day for attacking football. The artists have painted their pretty pictures. Only one team in it. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? 
Look, we saw some textbook football from white areas that continued to produce expansive attacking play that was ultimately too hard to handle. They were simply too good in, in the white areas. And if that wasn't hard enough for the opposition, the link-up play...